Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another update video regarding FNAF Security Breach. I'm finally going to be taking a look at the PlayStation blog post and updated store page on PlayStation that both released alongside the trailer that we got not too long ago, because there was a whole lot of information in that blog post and also a bit of new footage. And also on the store page, we have a brand new description for the game and the exact time and date that the game is coming out the exact time so we got a lot to talk about in this video and let's not waste any more time first off double check make sure you're subscribed to the channel please we're getting so so close to 25k and i would love to hit it by the end of the year also hit the like button and let's hop into it so starting off with the blog post it's titled new fnaf security breach gameplay revealed and this released on october 27th 2021 and it's actually written by the executive producer at steerwall studio it says spend the night in Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex out December 16th. Hey everyone, I'm Ray McCaffrey, executive producer on FNAF Security Breach. We're very excited to start sharing gameplay details from what is easily the most ambitious FNAF yet, coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 December 16th. Security Breach is a first person survival horror game set in Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. You play as Gregory, a little boy who's trapped inside overnight. Once the surprisingly robust Pizzaplex lockdown procedures go into effect, you must survive while you search for a way out. Let's take a look at what you'll be able to expect from Security Breach's moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. So a few notable things in that paragraph, we are playing as Gregory. I know it's pretty obvious, but I think a lot of people still wanted us to play as Vanessa or play as Vanny in some cases. Kind of have it be a split gameplay, you know, one part we're hiding as Gregory, the next part we're actually looking for Gregory as Vanessa, but that's not going to be the case. Throughout the entire game, it appears we will be playing exclusively as Gregory, trying to find a way out, which I do wonder. I just thought about this. Freddy in the trailer says, if there's another way out, I will help you find it. So I wonder if we can escape before 6 a.m. I don't know. That, that's just a thought I had. And it also says moment to moment gameplay. So this is all going to be happening at once. There's not going to be any pauses. It's going to be gameplay, gameplay, gameplay all the time, which I think is incredible, right? It makes it seem like there's not going to be any boring parts during the game, like you're always going to be on your feet, escaping the characters. Moving on to the first new footage from the blog post, it's titled Stealth and Speed. So it looks like we are inside of the bathroom we saw in the gameplay trailer, because we can see the washer pause sign and also the walls and floor look the same. We're crouching, right? We're trying to sneak past Chica, as we're going to see later on, we're in our stealth mode, if you want to call it that. We open the door. And there's Chica, and we just walk past her. And I do believe this takes place exactly after the moment we saw in the trailer, because those cans we knocked over to make noise to lure Chica in the trailer. So it looks like this footage happens exactly after that point. So you can see when you lure the characters, they kind of go to the noise, stand there for a bit, try to figure out what made that noise, and it'll give you time to sneak past them, not making any noise, so Chica's not gonna hear you if you're crouching. The animatronics Roxy, Chica, and Monty have been enlisted by Pizzaplex security to hunt you, and their pursuit is a relentless one. Strategizing how you'll get past enemies is a paramount to avoid those actively pursuing you, as well as more passive staff bots that will sound the alarm and call the animatronics to your location if they spot you. And this is again something I'm pretty sure we saw in the gameplay trailer where uh, Roxanne was introduced, right? Because there was a, a staff bot next to Roxanne, so I'm guessing we got caught by the staff bot and they called Roxanne over. In the event you're detected, run to escape the immediate danger quickly. But running is limited to the amount of stamina you've got, so use it wisely, and again, we saw that in the gameplay trailer. The animatronics also evolve as the night progresses, which means you'll need to adapt if you want to survive. So I think a good comparison to make here for you guys is kind of like Hello Neighbor, where each time you broke into the neighbor's house, he kind of learned, oh, they came in through the window, let me barricade the window, right? So it seems that we're gonna need to adapt over the course of the night because the animatronics will learn 
what our gameplay style is like, which I think is terrifying. Moving on to the second new footage. So as you can see, this is a brand new shot of the four holograms of the animatronics on the stage. I still think they look absolutely insane. They look absolutely huge as well. The size of these things is crazy. And we can also see a staff bot, or what I'm assuming to be a staff bot, rush past us as we're walking towards them. And what's interesting about this is that we're just kind of walking around. You know, we're not getting chased by an animatronic. The holograms aren't going after us. So I do wonder, not only why are the lights on, right? Why are the holograms on at night if this happens at night? But also, it seems that there's gonna be some moments in the game where it's not quite moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. You know, we have cooldown time. Pretty Fazbear himself is your most dependable ally, acting as a guide and protector through the Pizzaplex, giving you shortcuts, insider tips, and warnings about the challenges you'll face. You can also hop inside Freddy's oversized birthday cake hatch, allowing you to hide and and march around undetected. You'll need to be thoughtful about how and when you use Freddy because he's only got so much power and requires frequent stops at recharge stations. And again, a lot of this we saw in the trailer itself, a lot of gameplay with Freddy. Interesting that it's called the birthday cake hatch. I don't know why it would be called that because I didn't see any birthday cake in there. And then moving on to the third and final new footage. It looks like we're hiding in some sort of attraction. It looks like a playhouse or maybe a giant trash can and we can see chica march past us and also the ground is shaking as she's walking also at the beginning of the clip you can see exactly where we are this is the main lobby you can see the exit you can see the giant freddy statue and you can see the stairs that you go up to so this is in the main lobby you can also see a staff bot go across the lobby floor as we're hiding at the beginning of the clip the pizza plex is vast and while that means more staff bots are required for upkeep so i'm guessing that means we're gonna have to be very stealthy because if there's a lot of staff bots, there's a high probability they're gonna call over the animatronics to our location. It also means there's no shortage of hiding spots to pop into for a speedy evasion. It also means a ton of security cameras that you can access on your Faz watch, allowing you to plan your path. You can also knock over different objects like paint cans and toys to draw the enemy's attention. You'll have to slip away before they get to your location though, so make sure the distraction is worth the risk. Some weapons can stun enemies, the Faz Cam and the Faz Blaster. The Faz Cam, which we did see in the trailer with Roxanne, acts as a immediate stun for the entire area in front of you, staggering attackers just long enough to escape. Unfortunately, it has a limited number of uses before requiring a recharge. The Faz Blaster has unlimited ammo, but you'll need to land a direct headshot for it to work, which is not so easy when an animatronic alligator has practically leaped on top of you. So that was a big paragraph, right? Let's dissect it a little bit. We talked about the staff bots, but also the Faz Watch. So I'm guessing we're probably going to be able to use it in any circumstance. I mean, we did see we can use it inside a Freddy, so... I'm assuming we can also use it inside the hiding spots. So we can learn, all right, Chica's left, now I can escape and move away. And again, we saw the Faz Cam in the trailer with Roxanne and the staff bot, how they got stunned. It's good to know that we can recharge the Faz Cam, because that seems like a very useful weapon. Also the Faz Blaster. I'm not entirely sure what that is. It could be like a little handgun pew pew that we get at like the the phaser blast arena or it could be that you know turret thing in monty's gator golf that we saw again in the trailer but yeah landing a direct headshot for it to work that's gonna be tough. There's so much more on top of all of this that we can't wait to share with you. Unique office escape games. Now I've had time to think about this and I don't really know what this is talking about here. I, the best I can think of is like escape rooms. Boss battles. That's so crazy to me. Boss battles in FNAF. I think a lot of people theorize that the Monty cutscene that we see in the trailer could be like his boss battle opening. Like when you enter the Monty Gator Golf Arena, you get that cutscene and then it's like, oh shoot, 
now I gotta fight him. More enemy types, not entirely sure what that could mean. I'm guessing it's probably new characters we haven't even seen yet. Or it could be like, you've got the glam rocks, you've got, you know, the staff bots, you've got giant music man, you've got that tentacle monster, sun and moon. I'm guessing it's probably something along the lines of that. And even fully playable arcades hidden throughout the Pizzaplex. And again, we saw quite a few of those in the trailer. There was one with Fredbear, there was one with Ella and Theodore from the Silver Eyes. We're looking forward to sharing it all with you on December 16th. Thank you. What a damn good blog, bro. I mean, that's just, <laughs> there was so much info in there. That's crazy, the stuff they have planned for this game. It is, it's still crazy to think about not only how big the game is, but also how soon it's coming out. And speaking of how soon it's coming out, let's move on to the store page because it has a brand new description for the game. It says the next chapter in fear. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is the latest installment of the family-friendly horror games loved by millions of players from all around the globe. Play as Gregory, a young boy trapped overnight in Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. With the help of Freddy Fazbear himself, Gregory must survive the near unstoppable hunt of reimagined FNAF characters, as well as new horrific threats. The hunters and the hunted. Once nighttime protocols are initiated, the animatronics at Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex will relentlessly pursue any intruders. Flame Rock Chica, Roxanne Wolf, Montgomery Gator, and the Pizzaplex's security guard Vanessa will turn over every cotton candy pizza stand if they have to. It's not wise to stay in one place for too long. Another thing people are freaking out about this new description, Vanessa. Boys, listen, we know Vanessa's Vanny, right? The cat's out of the bag. So yeah, she will be hunting us down throughout the night. She's not that innocent. Adapt to survive. Access the building security cams to survey the environment and plan your route through danger. Distract enemies by knocking over paint cans and toys. Just slip away before enemies are drawn to your location. Hop into hiding spots and allow danger to pass or try to outrun your pursuers. Play your way, but be prepared to adapt. Explore and discover. Pretty Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex offers a variety of attractions for guests to enjoy. Monty Golf, Roxy's Raceway, Bonnie Bowl, The Sewers, and sewers? The Pizzaplex is vast and has no shortage of goodies to discover. Yeah, a nice little short and sweet description about the game. I don't think there's really anything new that we should talk about in there. It seems like that's all kind of base knowledge. But now moving on to the good stuff. The exact time and release date for the game. Not, you know, like we all know it comes out December 16th, but we now have the exact time it's coming out. FNAF Security Breach is officially coming out December 16th, 2021 at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which for UK people is like 8 a.m. For Pacific people, it's like, I think midnight. So, uh, not really the best time to release the, the game when everybody's sleeping or just waking up. Good idea. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Some very, very interesting details. Again, I still can't believe the game is coming out so soon. It's like, it's coming up to a month away. But yeah, that's gonna do it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching another video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.